What do you do if your bike falls over? How are you going to get it started again? I'll tell you all about it inside. Revelator Alpha. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you enjoy the channel and the series of videos. Please like, share, subscribe, leave loads of comments below, and check out the website revelatoralpha.com. So you had a, you've had a bit of a spill. You've tipped your bike over. You've lent it over on the ground, let's say, and you want to pick it up straight away. That's a natural reaction if you're able to do that, of course, physically, and you're not injured. So you pick up the bike and then you try to go and start it again then all of a sudden nothing nada nilch uh, the bike won't start you think well what's going on well the bike has a an inbuilt safety mechanism which will actually stop it from starting and you kind of have to wait a few seconds for it to readjust itself now, the way it does this is through uh, what's known as an accelerometer or, or a kind of a bank angle sensor. And that's uh, uh, stored within the BCM, the body control module, uh, in the electrical sort of side of the bike on the right hand side. Uh, it's just on the other side of the bike there. Now, basically what that does, that senses if the bike has lent over too far. It also senses, let's say, if the bike has moved when the alarm is on, and that's what sets off your alarm, basically. So it's this accelerometer which actually controls what uh, the bike is allowed to do. If it senses the bike has been lent over, it won't allow the bike to start. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the bike, turn on the ignition i'm going to lean the bike over to simulate that we've dropped the bike and then on the dash on the instrument console you'll actually see a tip come out uh, being read out that means that the bike's been tipped over then i'll show you the procedure how to do it okay Okay, so I've got the bike upright. I've simulated that I've dropped the bike for whatever reason. Now, I've because uh, I had the ignition on, and basically what you'll see now on the instrument cluster, you'll have the, the hazard lights on, and you'll have this tip sensor here. So basically, the tip sensor's on, and also you'll have your hazard lights blinkers going off as well, front and rear. So I'll just show you that, front and rear, there you go, it's all happening. Now, if you try and go and start it as it is now, with the starter button, nothing, nothing at all happens. So what you need to do is first of all, just turn off the run switch. Turn it off, then turn it back on. Wait 10 seconds is a recommendation. Now some uh, models, some previous models, meant that you had to turn off the, the hazard warnings as well, here. But you don't have to do that now. All you need to do is just fire up the, fire, the, uh, the starter. There we go, and it'll start up. Turn off your hazards, there. You can see it's all cleared there now. Absolutely fine. Let me just turn that off now. So there you go, that's it. If you spill your bike and you can't get it started for whatever reason, uh, it's because of that tip sensor or that bank angle sensor or the accelerometer has basically shut the bike off. It basically wants you to get the bike upright, it wants everything to stabilize and then it will allow you to start it. And all you need to do is just recycle the, the run switch. Turn it off, turn it back on, wait a few seconds and then it will fire up again. Okay, well, I hope you found this useful. Please like, share, subscribe, leave loads of comments below. Let me know what you think. And, uh, well, catch you on the next video coming very soon.